Hey guys, it's Courtney again. Yesterday we went over how to tip and blend a natural nail. So today I wanted to follow up from that and teach you guys how I apply my hard gel extensions to the tip. So I've got this nail that I've already tipped and blended. I'm going to be using this UV soak off gel from Coco Nail Systems. It's a self-leveling gel and it's probably about medium consistency. I've got my nail brush from Essential Nails. So once you've tipped your nail, you've done all your prep, etched your nail plate if you want, buff, push your cuticles back, remove all the non-living tissue, blah 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 blah, then you can go ahead with your first layer of gel. You want a really thin layer and just scrub it into the nail plate. When I say scrub it in, I mean move your brush back and forward like this so you can really get that gel into all the little grooves that you've created with your buffing block or your file. Get right up into the cuticle, right up to the side walls, but remember not to touch the skin. So once that's done, you're going to pop that in your lamp to cure. I have a UV lamp for this because it's a UV system, so I'm going to cure it for two minutes. Okay, so that's been cured. If you go ahead now and try and build up your apex by applying a scoop of gel, it's going to just sit where you put it and very slowly it will start to seep out onto the sides. So what I like to do is repeat step one with a tiny bit of gel and just apply it thinly over the whole nail. And then I'm not going to cure this. I'm going to go back in with a bigger scoop going to apply it just at the top of the nail, right below the cuticle. I'm going to bounce it into place. Bounce it up as close to the cuticle as you can get. And then make sure your scoop is centered. And then drag it down to the free edge of the nail. You want to keep your nail pointing downwards so that it doesn't flood the cuticles. It will start to spread on the sides, going evenly, creating a nice apex, but you can help it into place by just teasing the edge of the new scoop of gel with the corner of your brush. Just tease it out. When you work with self-leveling gel, it's also important to remember to keep the nail centered. If you tilt it to one side, then your gel is going to self-level over to that side. Just tease it out. Check that everything's covered. And then I'm going to put that into my lamp to cure. All right, so the first apex layer has been cured. You want to check your nail from the sides and see if you need to build it up anymore. And check it from the free edge. See if it's thick enough and if it's even. Remember you want your free edge to be about as thick as a credit card. If you're not familiar with how thick they are, go and grab your purse and just hold it up next to it because they're really not very thick at all. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more. This is a UV system so it doesn't get hot when you put it in the lamp. But if you're using an LED system you might find that using big beads it does get quite hot for the client. So what you would want to do is just do more layers and do smaller apex beads and just build it up. So I'm going to apply another thin layer of gel. 
and I'm not going to cure it. And then I'm going to go and get just a small bead this time. Apply it just below the cuticle with the finger pointed downwards and bounce it up into place. Gather it up in the center and drag it down. Let it settle for a second. And I'm just going to tease the edge of the new bead all the way to the side. Okay, so this nail has come out of the lamp. Let's give it a wipe with some isopropyl alcohol. And to check your nail from each side, see your apex. And you want to check your nail from the free edge and make sure it's the right thickness and look down the barrel of the nail to make sure it's relatively even. Now, because we let the gel do most of the work, this nail is going to require very little filing. What you want to do at this point, if you're going to stay with the square nail, is just shape the free edge and the side walls. So we're going to do this really quickly just to give you an idea of how much filing we need to do. Go up each side. Go up the free edge. around the cuticle this file is a 240 grit file it's really gentle on the nail it's not really taking away any bulk now we're just going to blend in the apex to the bits that we've already filed That is that nail done. Check your apex. Check your free edge. Then you can go ahead and apply your top coat. So while gel does file easier than acrylic, it's still very important to nail your application so that you can reduce the time you file the nail. You really should only have to go over it lightly with a 240 grit file and then buff it to make it smooth. And then apply your top coat and you're ready to be cured. I hope you found this video helpful. Next time I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this really elegant ballerina coffin tapered, whatever you want to call it, this really lovely shaped nail. I know a lot of people struggle with this and I have a couple tricks that I'm going to teach you to help make this super easy for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notifications of new videos and share them with your friends. See you next time.